what's up beautiful people this is Sanaroma. welcome to the channel today we're going to be checking this video for pink book lessons and the titled bombshell report mayor under investigation for las vegas secrets what happens in vegas stays in vegas interesting i'm excited to check this one out to your pbl i've got to say let's check it out do you remember the trip to Vegas that Tiffany Teflon, the super mayor of Dalton, took using thousands and thousands of dollars from the budgets of Dalton, Illinois and Thornton Township? Thousands in first class flights, thousands on hotel rooms, thousands on Ruth Chris and Bubba Shrimp and Crawfish and Crab Legs. Thousands paid to employees out of Dalton's budget to the people who went on the trip with her, including police officers. Well, here's a piece of that story that you didn't know about. Two trustees went on that trip with Tiffany Teflon Tahoe. The same two crooked trustees has been supporting Tiffany, condoning her behavior, and even helping her deceive the people of Dalton. I've mentioned both of these guys before, trustee Stanley Brown and trustee Andrew Holmes. I have a complete case study on him. If you missed those videos a couple of months ago, I'll link them all below. Some of you may not know, I'm the one that blew this story up on YouTube. And now Tiffany Tahoe is all over the place. National, traditional media, syndicated radio, everywhere. Tiffany Teflon Tahoe and the city girl mayor nicknames came from me. That's what I named her. And of course, no one would tell you that because that's what these folks do. Say these things, then act like they have no idea where it came from. So make sure you're subscribed to the channel and have your notifications set to all because when I speak on Tiffany Tahoe, you are going to hear nothing but the real deal. So Tiffany went to Vegas, then lied about using taxpayers' money to pay for the trip. Some of those charges are for you though. No, sir. You didn't go to Las Vegas? Mm. <laughs> what is that? No okay. You don't know if you were in Las Vegas? Of course I do. Were you? It's not paid by them. Did you fly first class to Las Vegas? Any other questions? As previously reported, she didn't just use money from Dalton's budget, but she also swindled money out of Thornton Township too for this trip. Trustee Stanley Brown, the retired mailman administrator, now over the finance committee, with zero experience in receipts, he went with her. So did trustee Andrew Holmes, the bought and paid for ambulance chaser, one of B. Jesse Jackson Jr., but he's as trustworthy as Al Sharpton at the meeting with the Italian mob. For those who know, you know what I'm talking about. If you don't know, educate yourself. Both of these trustees have been helping Tiffany deceive the people of Dalton, and they love taking these trips with her to soak up all the resources. Now two other people who also went on the trip, their experience is being highlighted. They are both a part of a complaint that triggered an investigation into Tiffany Tahoe and one of those two trustees who went on the trip with her. One person was Mayor Porkchop's assistant at the time of the trip, a woman, and the other was one of the police officers that was paid to go on the trip, a man. The woman accused one of the trustees that went on this trip with Tiffany Tahoe of putting something in her drink and she didn't even know it. The assistant along with the officer on detail both reported this to Tiffany Tahoe and although Tiffany touts herself as the first black woman and the black woman who cares about this and that, here's another woman she didn't care anything about. She destroyed this woman. She allegedly saw this woman get swindled out of her you know what. And you know what Tiffany's response was? She then swindled the woman out of her job. Yeah, she got rid of her to cover all of this up. And that's why right now she is at the center of this investigation. Take a look at this bombshell report by NBC Chicago. Right to those disturbing allegations against the mayor of Dalton and an unnamed village trustee. We've learned the Illinois Department of Human Rights is investigating complaints of sexual harassment and retaliation. NBC 5's Regina Waldrop has been pouring over the documents in the case, and you're here now with what they reveal. Regina? Stephan Marion, a few days ago, NBC 5 obtained complaints filed with the Department of Human Rights through a Freedom of Information request. Now, they're filed against Mayor Tiffany Henyard and the Village of Dalton and Thornton Township. A former female employee who was Henyard's assistant alleges retaliation, sexual harassment, and mm. discrimination after she raised concerns about an apparent non-consensual sexual encounter between her and an unnamed village trustee. 
The Dalton police officer says in a separate complaint filed with the Department of Human Rights that he also faced retaliatory actions for coming forward with what he witnessed. The incident allegedly occurred during an economic development trip to Las Vegas last May. On that trip, Dalton Mayor Tiffany Henyard and a handful of village representatives, including her former assistant who filed this complaint with the Illinois Department of Human Rights and two village trustees. We're not naming the woman because NBC5 does not name people who possibly were a victim of an unwanted sexual encounter. According to her complaint, the woman says she went to dinner with an unnamed Dalton trustee. The complaint then recounts the following events. After dinner, she says she started to feel disoriented, extremely lightheaded, as if the ground was moving. She says she blacked out. According to the complaint, the next morning she woke up in the trustee's hotel room with no memory of how she got there, experiencing physical discomfort. Yo, this is interesting. It's indeed what happened in Vegas, stays in Vegas. But again, I just want to ask, like plain normal human instincts. This uh, assistant or this uh, trustee, or this complaint complainant now the first thing is does she take alcohol and all of that and more so does she have a light brain or is she light on alcohol then they should start from there the reason i'm asking is because sometimes some people um, take um, alcohol and because it's light on their brain they tend to get really dizzy and all of that but again some things not to put past the things that do happen and not to say that other things might not occur or other things might not happen with the event or with a case that um, somebody might want to tamper with a drink or tamper with her and also her waking up to see herself or find herself in the other person's bedroom well maybe that was the easiest place or that was the closest place the person could easily take her to. It might not mean something else. <laughs> I'm just trying to weigh all of these things to see something that we are not seeing. To see something out of this. But again, never can be too sure because some things again can happen. But yo, this, this is interesting. Let's continue. Room with no memory of how she got there, experiencing physical discomfort. She says after returning to Dalton, Officer Byron Miles, who was part of Henyard's security detail and went on the trip to Vegas, told her a trustee on the trip told him that the trustee had unprotected sex with her. Officer Miles has also filed the complaint with the Human Rights Department. The woman states in her complaint that after she was told this, she went immediately to seek medical care. Both complaints then provide details of a meeting which took place the following day with the former assistant, Officer Miles and Mayor Henyard. At this meeting, the woman informed Henyard that she would never willingly have sex with the trustee. Officer Miles informed Henyard and the woman that the trustee called him that night in Vegas. The trustee, he says, then bragged about the sexual activities he engaged in with the woman, Miles' complaint says, suggesting that she may have not had the ability to consent or did not provide consent. According to the complaint, Officer Miles recorded some of this conversation on his iPhone. According to the complaints, the mayor said that if this information became public, she would be ruined, that all the work she'd done would be lost. The ex-employee says the mayor told her she would take care of it and to trust her. Days later, according to her complaint, the woman was put on unpaid medical leave, though she says she did not request to be put on leave. She was later terminated. Wow. Tiffany Tahoe told this woman to trust her, and this is what she did. She swept it under the rug, sabotaged the investigation, and fired the woman. We're talking about the same woman who's going around using the excuse of being a woman as some sort of protection for us not to hold her accountable. In his complaint, Officer Miles alleges that he was demoted to patrol duty, among other retaliation, for coming forward as a witness. They're asking for back pay, front pay, punitive damages, and attorney's fees. In a statement to NBC5, the village says it conducted a thorough investigation into these allegations led by an independent third-party company. The statement goes on to say former police officer Miles was interviewed and denied knowing anything about these allegations, and the alleged victim refused to cooperate. 
The statement continues, this is nothing more than two disgruntled village employees trying to make off with taxpayers' hard-earned dollars. The village looks forward to defending these allegations and pursuing all other available remedies to the village. So the attorney who represents both the woman and Officer Miles says Officer Miles is, in fact, still employed with the Dalton Police Department. He also told hmm. us a criminal complaint on behalf of Mayor Henyard's ex-assistant is imminent. So coming up at 10, we talked to three village trustees about the Department of Human Rights investigation and what happens next. Mary. Regina, we look forward to that story tonight. Thank you. The alleged victim is going to make a criminal complaint as well, so somebody may be going to jail. This is absolutely crazy. They're going on these trips, allegedly taking advantage of women. In this case, the mayor's assistant. The mayor found out about it when her assistant and one of her officers on her detail reported it to her. And instead of getting down to the bottom of it, they punished the woman along with the officer who reported it. This right here is absolutely exactly. disgusting and out of order. If you want to hear more about this situation, drop part two below in the comments. We're going to stop right here. Go ahead and let me know what you think about this below. Okay. Officially, I retract what I said in the beginning because, yeah, I was just trying to say, oh, maybe um, she might be lightheaded with alcohol, but I retract it back because, yeah, where things do really happen. But again, it still boils down to uh, maybe or maybe not something was put in a drink. But, yo, with this that we are seeing, nah, this was wrong for her to not to listen to... But of course, it is pretty obvious that maybe they are covering something up or this is something, a routine that they do. It's just unfortunate that this assistant got caught up on it or it happened to the wrong person. Who knows? Maybe it might have been an existing occurrence that they always shove off or hide. Nobody knows. But this is, this is interesting. Because what? Terminating her, the assistant, for complaining and talking about this so was she not supposed to complain or talk about it or was she supposed to just accept it and be like well um it happened in vegas right so you should stay in vegas nobody should know about it um how about p other people who want to protect themselves and protect their dignity they didn't really actually think about it but now this is just all messy and i've said it before like with, that with things like this they, they always move in circles and once one name is mentioned it's pretty obvious that other names are gonna be mentioned you I honestly really feel sad for the um, assistant in this case because this is wrongfully done to her and um, it shouldn't be done to anybody I don't I did this is wrong this is insane then and this is just one out of many finally it's a good thing that this is um, out in the open and people are not learning and knowing more about this because um, believe you me, I'm sure before now they would have done other things to shove it off so people don't hear about this. But unfortunately, it got caught with somebody else, and this person is not the type of person they should be playing with or the type of person they uh, would want to be playing with. But let me know what you think about this. I'm sure tons of people have interesting things to share. I really love your honest contribution. You can share the useful information you think might be really helpful. Make sure to like, comment and subscribe and all of that stuff. And until next time, see you in the next video.